All right, hey guys, what's up? This is Wolf here, one and only. How all my adventures doing? Welcome back to another devlog. This is devlog number thirty-four, and this devlog we're gonna be learning new moves, and we're also gonna be replacing all the old moves. So, yeah, this was actually pretty interesting to do. I didn't really have too many bugs on this one, but um. Yeah, we're going to be replacing and learning just like any other Pokemon game to where they learn to move and forget them. I'm still thinking about if I want to increase it to six slots instead of four, but that would also, but that would also be pretty annoying and difficult for the player to have to predict like six different moves. But on the other hand, they would have six different moves to choose from as well. But that would also mean I would have to make a lot more moves and I don't need to overcomplicate that. So we're going to be sticking with four moves right now. And to be honest, um, there was another thing I planned on doing as well, but I'll save that for down the road. It was mostly like passive abilities like any other Pokemon game as well. Like they're just having, I guess, hidden abilities. I guess that's what it's be called. We're just having like passive ability. I think that's, I don't know what it's actually called in Pokemon. It's been a while since I actually looked at them. But if I say passive, you guys automatically don't understand what I mean. <laughs> so you know what? That works. I'm just overcomplicating things now. But yeah, we're making the forget and learning. Well, actually, right now we're just making the system to where we learn a new move all together. This is the first section and we're just trying to get the monster girl to learn the ability. So we made up the four slots for that one. So once it gets to a certain level is going to get that slot. Oh, max number of moves. Wait, did I flip this around by mistake? I probably could have. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. We're just making the max number of moves. I had to make sure I didn't mess anything up here in my editing because <laughs> then I have to re-edit the video. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it's fine. We're learn we're doing the first start of it. <laughs> I had to sit here and think to myself, wait a minute, this doesn't seem right. We get the give going, then we get the level ups. Now she learned the ability, which is strong will. And now we're in a session to where we're gonna be forgetting those old moves or well. When we reach the max of how many moves we can hold, we're going to start replacing them. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this when most of you have all played Pokemon, but then again, if you've been living on the rock, it's better just to explain what we're doing. <laughs> So I made my own little way of making a box inside of uh, the UI. Just add a box, then go down and add a component and go to outline. And I can just put outlines around this just to have a simple UI layout. It's actually been working out pretty fine for the way I do it instead of just finding an image on Google. Now we're making the move texts to where we can actually code these to actually show up any of the moves that the monster girl knows <laughs> and what we're replacing it with. Excuse me, what the heck up, Jesus.
Alright, now we have the code to text. So we made a new script called uh, Move Selection UI so we can actually put all the stuff we need to handle it inside of here. Instead of putting the same function inside of a battle system. Which made sense to me because you don't want it to be in there like multiple times over and over again. It was better just to make extra scripts just in case. So I can see what game dev was thinking on this one. Hmm. We also made a new battle state. Also, learning all this stuff actually will help me inside of like other games I make too. So some of these codes can be, well, most of these codes could definitely be used inside of other games other than just, you know, Pokemon related games. Most of them can be used in a straight up RPG. So here we're going to be able to make the character be able to move through the selection and choose a move to replace. Now we're working on the forget move part. It's going to be interesting having to change like all of my scripts to like 3D. And see how they interact with each other. Because as long as it's... The thing I'm thinking, as long as it is uh, interactable, it should do the same thing as a 2D style, right? <laughs> At least I'm hoping so. <laughs> Cause maybe this, maybe I'm thinking it's a lot less, a lot more too simple than what I'm thinking. probably be trying that on well throughout the week testing a few things I've normally just been making like copies of this project and just been doing my own thing in it towards like graphics and trying to figure out whole 2d and 3d thing it's mostly camera angle that is kind of killing me right now and the fact that I might have to just rechange the whole layout. 
to where I might have to delete the grid and recreate the whole thing. That's probably where it's going to end up going. But to, be but to be honest, it's not all that difficult because now that I'm thinking about it, I could just make a totally different platform and just try and copy all the work that I'm doing on that into into the um, how should I put it a lot more simpler to say than show how should I put that I should make another layer below that that does the same functions as the layer that I'm currently working on inside of 2d so the ground I want it to be you know actually walkable and well, to be honest, I'm making a copy of the pro of the project, so I might as well just delete and play around with it. It's just that my brain's just like, dude, do we really want to recreate and retype everything? But I think my brain is overthinking that. Kind of difficult to explain. Transferring all the grid layers into the 3D layers. Oh, yeah, okay. We had we did have an issue here. To where the text was invisible. It's just because I didn't change the alpha. That was the only issue. So it worked this whole time. I just did not change the color of the alpha. So I ended up going through this multiple times. And there we go, that is fixed. So now we're making it to where you can confirm it. But we want to confirm it through a link, which I learned a little bit about links today. I don't fully understand linking codes just yet. I need to practice a little bit more with that and look up some more videos about it. Because it seems like a definitely helpful tool that I can use later down the road. Okay, so now we're putting on basically the finishing touches of this. Now that we have everything linked up. So this is really all I need about the whole don't learn the new move. It just goes back to doing whatever it was doing. If I don't want to learn it. And, oh, I actually didn't test this, actually. I need to go back and test that. Make sure that's working if I don't want to learn the ability. But, um, anyway, this is the basically learning whatever move that comes first out of that pool once they reach that level. Excuse me if I get anything wrong, my brain is kind of fried after dealing with so much stuff right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah. 
everything should be working. We should be able to, to kill, take out this uh, Tigora, get the level up, and be able to change the move set now. Replace strong, strong will, and now Bane Slap is happening. There we go. That's pretty much it. That has been the whole devlog of number 34. Yep. With that said, I will see you guys on the next one. And I guess the next one will be uh, figuring out portals and changing between scenes and stuff like that, which will be interesting considering I will probably be trying to figure out 2D and 3D during that time and trying to get that going because um, I don't want to change too many things about my portals. No, maybe I could do this actually. No, maybe I could do it through the 2D. Then there probably won't be that many portals I need to change anyway at that point. Because there'll probably be two or three portals that I'll have to redesign anyway. So I might as well just give up on that. Shouldn't be too hard of an issue to change them. But yeah, never mind. I think I think we're good here. Until like later on. With that said, I'm gonna leave off there. Until then, peace out. See you guys on the next one.